Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out some of your guys' solar systems. So today we have got two from Nika um, to do so um, yeah we'll just get straight into this but um, yeah let's go ahead and search this up. I'm also in the older version of Universe Sandbox again because this uh, or this system or these two systems were built prior to the update release and um, which um, upsets modded objects. So yeah, we're just going to do it in the old version to avoid any problems. So um, yeah, there we go. Okay, so the first one is called the Neflo system. So let's go ahead and search that up. Here we go. All right, let's see what he has prepared for us today. And also, guys, if you want to send in your own simulations, make sure to either join my Discord, uh, link in the description to um, send them in there, or you can um, tell me um, what to search on the Steam Workshop in the comments as well. But just um, just um, keep in mind, some of the comments may go in my spam box, so I may not be able to see them um, at first. Just keep that in mind. But um, just keep reminding me every so often. Don't go crazy. But yeah, if you want me to do your system on the Workshop, just let me know in the comments, and hopefully I can get around to doing it at some point. But yeah, th the Discord's a lot more reliable um, way of doing it. But anyways, about that all out of the way let's get into this so yeah episode 105 now i think it is no 104 wow that's crazy but anyways welcome to the neflow system discovered in 2029 it was discovered by an unknown scientist that was looking for stars and the unknown scientist found this system he later told the others to check this system out um in infrared and other ways to look at the system and it was discovered to be a binary system composing of m type red dwarf and a t type brown dwarf with many stars and dwarf planets and possible oh no many, many stars and dwarf planets and a possible dwarf okay never mind um and one of these objects could contain life on the surface of one of the planets in the system that the scientists could have discovered right so there we go okay that's everything right so let's go ahead and check out the star to begin with so here is the star itself niflo here so this is the red dwarf as we can see here so niflo niflo however you want to say it so um yeah here we go so let's check its stats. Yeah, not, not a very bright star, as we can see. I mean, comparing it to Jupiter, for example, not the biggest thing around either, as it's literally... Is it actually smaller than Jupiter? Let's see here. Isn't Jupiter 69,900? I think Jupiter's actually slightly bigger. Look, if we compare it. Jupiter is 69911. This is only 695. So, yeah, this is actually smaller than Jupiter, this star. So, very, very small object indeed. Anyways, there we go. So, now moving on to planet A. Here we go. So this one is 400 degrees. We'll switch to the realistic mode as well. So there we go. We'll disable orbits. We'll keep labels on. But yeah, there we go. So first object of the day. Very similar to Mercury. A little larger in size. Similar sort of temperatures. So yeah, there we go there. That is object A. All right, now moving on to B. Since they're all marked out nicely, we can travel to them easy. Okay, so the next one looks to be a Sedna lookalike right here. So yeah, very similar colours to the Sedna in the game, 169. So again, it's a slightly larger version of the previous planet, different colour. Still quite a hot, rocky world though. And it also has a moon as well here. And this moon's a lot cooler in temperature in orbit of that red planet. It's just like a hot version of Mars in a way of the sort of red colour um, it's got there. Quite large in size, as we can see, it's, it's, it's like Earth-sized pretty much there. So yeah, there we go there. There are those guys. Um, we'll put orbits back on just for now. Right, so then we have planet C over here. So this one actually has an atmosphere on it, as we can see. A blue atmosphere, still quite warm in temperature. Um, a, a hot, rocky world there. Um, also with some moons as well. So yeah, there we go there. There are those, the old pixelated ones, because apparently in the new version of the game, I actually forgot to show this. That asteroids now are really, really detailed. So I'll definitely have to get a video on that out um, at some point. But yeah, there we go. So that is C. Now moving on to D over here. This one it looks to be modded, actually. Oh, yeah, look at this. So here we go here. We'll just put it on a studio just to see it in its true colors. But yeah, there we go there. A very interesting, good-looking world. Um, it looks like it's tinted as well. So um, yeah, really, really cool stuff. And yeah, good thing I did do it in the old version of the game because in the newer version, the current version, tints don't work anymore, um, I believe. So yeah, this one, good thing I'm doing it in the old version. Let's um, actually get a look at this guy um, under the clouds there. So where, where are we? So let's go ahead and move those. So there it is there. So it looks like it's got a sort of dark green tint on it um, to give it this sort of um, look to it. The water's actually maybe more of a bluish green tint, actually. But it's definitely got a tint on it, as you can see, the um, North Pole up here is slightly... It's not white, remember? It's slightly different in colour there. So, yeah, looking good. So it's definitely got some sort of bluish green tint on it. And obviously, with the atmosphere, I think that looks really, really cool with the clouds and stuff. Very nice indeed there. Um, go back to realistic. There's actually an eclipse on it by this moon here as well. So this pinkish sort of um, orange-coloured moon here. So, yeah, there we go there. Really like the planet, though. Um, then we have some more minor moons by the looks of it there. Okay, so there are those guys. All right, moving on to the next one. Okay, so this is E now. So this one is the first gas giant we've seen here. It's got a ton of moons, and I'm really liking the colours 
on this gas giant. So it's in a, a red and black sort of one here. But although it's got some pink on it as well. Actually, never mind. No, it's not that red and black. It's just the angle I've seen it at. So it's got a range of different colours, as we can see here, with a very nice red and dark um, red. Or is that more of a maroon red or a black? I think it's a black in there, but it sort of gives the impression it looks like maroon. So yeah, there we go there. Then moving on to these, it looks like we've got a ton of minor asteroids in orbit now. So I know we've got we've got a slightly large moon here. So here we go, more notable size one. So yeah, there we go there. We've got this one. Then moving on over here, we've got another one. So there we go, I'll just keep them, i just go through them all nicely. So there we go. Right, and then that one as well. So there are those guys. Right, and then moving on to number seven, number eight. Okay, so these look to be miners now. And then number ten. Okay, there we go. So there we go. Right, now moving on to, um, we'll go to this comet first, as we can see small little asteroid and it's a comet so it has obviously one of those extreme orbits but now moving on to the dwarf planets here so here we go here so this is um object number one right here it's actually got some moons around it as well so about pluto size a little larger than what pluto is um but yeah here we go there so it's a gray and brown color theme on it then this one over here is a frozen ice world for its um, largest moon and then a bunch of smaller ones. So there we go. Dwarf planet. Well, I'm not really sure if they should be called dwarf planets since they are asteroids. And they're, in, they're already moons of this guy. Um, but yeah, there we go. So there are those guys. That reminds me of Pluto, actually. A large main object. It's also got a reasonably large secondary moon. And then it's got some small little asteroids. That definitely reminds me of Pluto. The way it's set up there. And then moving on to dwarf planet 2 over here. This one is also a frozen ice world here. And um, there we go. Also with some moons. So it's got some, yeah, just minor moons as well. So there are those guys. Right, now scrolling out, we are heading to the... Bi so there's a barrier center, as we can see there. And then we're heading on to the brown dwarf. Yeah, here we go. So this is um, Kenton here. So there we go. A lot larger than the um, red dwarf um, we had, actually. Comparing it to Jupiter, as we can see, it's a lot bigger than what the little star was over there. So this is actually um, bigger, the biggest object in this system. Um, there, But now we are heading to um, planet A. So Kenton A here. I'm guessing if we use realistic, we're not going to see too much yet. The brand dwarf is not luminous enough, so we'll just leave it like this for now. So yeah, all its moons. So there we go. Uh, moving on to the second one here. So this is a blue atmosphere, frozen ice world. And yeah, the temperature on these is going to be practically nothing. It's going to be very, very cold as there is no star warming them up. And then the last object here, which is a very nice... I really like that shade of red, actually, with the, with the black and then the even light darker red on the high elevation liking that really like that color scheme that's looking good that probably would make quite a good sedna actually there um, but there we go and then more of the moons and then the last moon in here is also a frozen ice world at minus 252 there so yeah very very cold um but yeah there we go so that does it for the first system of today we'll just get a lineup of all the objects in here now but yeah that that red planet we just saw that is definitely my favorite one where where is it so there's, that's the only gas giant in here. But yeah, the top two Rockies for me are definitely these two, actually. So Neflo D and then Kenton C here. Definitely the top two um, Rocky planets in here for me. Gas giants I can't really vote on since there's only one. Um, but yeah, there you go. So they're definitely my top ones. Very nice indeed. But now moving on to the second system of the day. So that system is called the Paragon system. So let's go ahead and search it up. Here we go. So the Paragon system. Okay, let's see what he has prepared for us um, in this one. So here we go. Right. Okay, so um, okay, this one's looking quite big. So welcome to the Paragon system. A system located 4.8 light years from Holas. This star system is known for being a binary system and not much known about it other than it's been observed. Right, so there we go. Alright, so we'll start off with um, star A here. So this is Paragon S1 here. It looks like it's got a ton of objects in orbit as well. Just to get an overall size of the system here. So it's another binary, as we can see. But yeah, there we go. So here is our star, and it's appearing already a lot bigger than what we previously saw. So yeah, this one is uh, definitely a lot bigger. The luminosity is 500 suns, and we'll compare it to the sun itself, as we can see. Yeah, the sun's quite small. Let's compare it to Arcturus. Yeah, that's the sort of size it is there. So there we go. Right. So let's check its... Um, we'll check the Hattel zone. Why not? So yeah, there we go. So there's Hattel zone of that one, and then the second one we can't actually see yet. But yeah, there we go. Right, so first object. So we'll go to the one with the blue trail. Okay, here we go. So here we are. Right, this one actually looks quite similar to the one in the previous system. It looks very similar indeed, actually. I mean, similar sort of color scheme. The tint on it looks quite similar as well. As you can see, it's got that light blue colored um, polar cap there. So yeah, quite similar but different with a green surface this time. So definitely a more hatable looking one. We'll check the stats on this guy. So, um, 89.3 and then 25.5, okay, so yeah, there we are. 
Then we also have um, another moon here. Looks to be an all-frozen world. Uh, it's not actually that bad. I mean, it's only minus one degree, so yeah. A, a, a sort of almost frozen water world there. Um, and then moving on, another little minor asteroid there. So there we go. So that is S1. Right, and then moving on to... Okay, we'll go to this comet first, but yeah, it's quite um, small there. And actually, looking at that, this is planet B. What's this next to the star? Yes, yeah, so I missed this one out. Okay, here we go. So it's a hot gas giant, as we can see here, larger than Jupiter, and it's getting consumed by the star by the looks of it. I mean, it's very, very close. Pretty sure this gas giant will be reduced to nothingness eventually, as it is uh, It's pretty dangerously close to this star. Um, so as we can see in the zone, it's all the way in the, the... Well, it's closer than the red zone is around the star. So yeah, very, very dangerously close here. And yeah, stuck at 1,000 degrees there. So that's probably getting eaten alive, losing mass. Uh, but now moving on to um, the next gas giant out here. So this is um, S1C now. So this one is also a range of different colours, as we can see here. Sort of mix of all different shades and colours there. So it looks like green is the most dominating colour. As you can see, it's in the north and the south there. But yeah, there we go. So it's um, about a little larger than Uranus and Neptune for radius there. And then moving on to the asteroids, uh, moons. Okay, there's a few of them that are not asteroids. Frozen Ice World in there as well. Some more um, other moons as well, as we can see. So there are those guys. Rightio. So now moving on to S1D over here. And oh, yes, look at this. Okay, so this is a breed of planet which doesn't seem to work entirely correct in the new version of the game so yeah very very good idea for me to come to the older version of the game here but this is another one of the crazy cloud objects and this one is definitely not a disappointment maybe one of the last ones we see in these episodes just because um they've sort of changed it all up and it's weird in the new version i'm not entirely sure how it works yet because uh, i need to have a little more play around with it but yeah either way very very nice looking it's like a more golden golden white sort of color to it i mean the clouds look pretty gold and yellow um here really really nice looking indeed 15 degrees let's get a look underneath the crazy clouds now so here it is here so a white atmosphere as we can see with a sort of desert look appearance to it underneath so there we go and um, let's check the stats on this guy as well so 96 and then 22 so yeah pretty decent there but yeah there we go the clouds very amazing as always let's go ahead and land on the surface of this guy and get a, just get a look at those lovely clouds so here we go Let's go underneath and check that out. Very, very bright as we can see, but a nice golden sort of yellow shade um, clouds here. Really, really nice looking indeed there. But yeah, this could be one of the last of these objects we see in these videos, just because of the way the game's changed with the new update. But yeah, there we go. So heading on to the next one now. So over here, this one is... Ooh, I'm liking... Ooh, I really like this one. Really nice blend of colours in here. So it starts off yellow at the top, or more of like a creamy yellow. It goes green, then it goes black and then it has a blue at the bottom so yeah there we go pretty, pretty nice um shade of colors there with my personal preference i probably would have that blue turn to black but yeah either way it's still a pretty nice um mix of colors there i've not seen anything like that before though so there we go looking good also again sort of uranus neptune size a little larger than those guys um now moving on to the next one over here so s1f looks like a custom uranus um by the looks of it. and it has got rings as well so that sort of leads me to believe this yeah this is definitely some sort of custom uranus look alike obviously it's a lot larger a hundred thousand kilometers but yeah that that is definitely a decent custom uranus there uh, using the gas giant format so yeah there we go so a nice custom uranus um object out here as well um a pretty large ice giant as well larger than jupiter there more mass as well minus 131 degrees so yeah pretty large uranus style gas giant and then heading on to the second star of the day now so this is a blue star and comparing it to the first star, it's nowhere near as luminous. It's only 15 suns. The other one was 500 um, there. So, um, yeah, massive difference between the two. I mean, if we compare the other stats as well, the other one's a lot larger. And, yeah, it's got more mass. So this one is actually the smaller of the two stars, even though it's the blue one there. So, yeah, there we go. And then it's zone as well. Definitely doesn't look as big as the other one um, right there. So, yeah, there we go. Right, anyways, first object now to this one so another sort of a super earth sort of size this one so yeah there we go super sort of earth size at 9200 radius so there we go then moving on to the next one here so this one looks like a desert sort of world underneath as well there we go it almost reminds me of the colors of venus with a blue atmosphere there so yeah there we go so definitely a desert like world 294 degrees those are very very hot um, version um, of a desert there so it could be like another hot mars sort of like object there then it also has a comet around it as well. 
and that looks to be everything okay so let's get a lineup of all the objects in here now so there we go so yeah this star is definitely the most dominant force in here as we can see they're very very large then we've got our second star there we go and then moving on to the planets we've got the uranus um object there we've got the uh smaller hot gas giant which is close to the star gas giant wise though i think this is the top one for me just really like the shade of the green with the black and the blue there and obviously the yellow in the top like the mix of color there definitely more than this one i think this one it's a little over the top with the amount of colors on it i think this one definitely um definitely looks better in my opinion there and um, then rocky planets i mean i'd say th this one's probably the winner for me i mean i am a sucker for the crazy cloud objects but yeah for me definitely the top object in here for the rockies um so yeah there we go but yeah this one as well it's still pretty nice i have to say i mean I'm, i kind of want to say it's better than the one we saw in the previous system which is quite similar to this as well i mean and, and then i only just spotted it as well this one has city lights as well so yeah definitely um definitely a nice um, object um nonetheless but yeah, i think the uh, cloud one still clinches it for me um as the best one in here and then here are all of the other objects so we've got some small uh, a lot of smaller problems in here as well and then the um, little asteroids at the bottom there but yeah that is everything for today's video guys so let me know what you thought um of this system down below in the comments in there like i said at the start of the video if you want to send in your own systems make sure to um join my discord which is the easier option link in the description or you can um just um tell me the name of the object on the workshop um in the um comments if you want me to do that so yeah it's either the workshop or my discord whichever one suits you best but um yeah there we are so that is everything. So let's see if we can go for 40 likes a day on these two binary systems um, from Nico. And remember, all credit goes to him for making this. So yeah, massive thank you to him for sending these in as well, guys. And yeah, that is everything. So make sure you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.